You recently wrote a paper on the CTMU interpretation of quantum mechanics. How does that change the landscape of modern physics? Quantum mechanics is a mathematical structure which is statistically very predictive regarding certain kinds of events, but it tells us nothing with complete certainty. It also resists interpretation in reality. It's very hard to explain where it resides in reality and how it works in the real world. It seems to be nothing but a set of mathematical rules that correspond to nothing we can reach out and actually touch, right? I mean, on the one hand, you've got the theory of quantum mechanics, which is a mathematical abstract structure, and on the other hand, you have the solid physical universe. How do you put those two together? It's not obvious. There's nothing in quantum mechanics itself that answers that question for you. So the problem is how to construct a correspondence between quantum mechanics and reality without being sure of what reality itself is. That's a problem because although science studies reality, the definition of what reality is can change as a function of what science learns about it. Right? This is a little bit analogous to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which is sometimes stated as measurement changes that which is measured. Right? You see how that's analogous, right? Right. Science, in effect, changes the meaning of reality by exploring it, as opposed to measuring it. But when we get to the level of science concerned with interpreting quantum mechanics in reality, it becomes the addition to reality of purported ingredients that are not present in quantum mechanics itself, but which merely support quantum mechanical functionality in what the interpreter chooses to call reality. And that's not good enough. We end up with too many interpretations when we do that, and they largely contradict each other. It's not a good situation, scientifically speaking. The paper to which I think you're referring is, is called Introduction to Quantum Metamechanics. Uh, what it shows is that the interpretation of quantum mechanics need not be as difficult as the, the physics community seems to think it is. To have an interpretation of quantum mechanics, what you basically need is something definite in which to interpret it. And unfortunately, there's no definite definition of reality in modern science. They don't know how to define it because it keeps changing and morphing as they explore it. Okay, as they find out new things about it, they're changing the definition in small and subtle ways, but important ways. In contrast, the CTMU metaformal system provides exactly what is needed in this respect. And when quantum mechanics is properly interpreted in that system, it tells us what kind of interpretations are viable and what kind aren't. The metaformal system is actually a definite tautological description of what reality is. So now we have something in which quantum mechanics can be interpreted, all right? We know that we have something solid in which to serve as the co-domain of our interpretative mapping. 